A dozen Manitoba prostate cancer patients were recently part of what's being described as an exciting clinical trial. The results have found a new course of treatment for some men living with late stages of the disease. In tonight's More Tomorrows Together, CTV's Michelle Gerwing meets a Manitoba man who's been able to do a lot more and meet two important new people since being on the treatment. 14 years ago, David Crawford was diagnosed with prostate cancer. I've had almost every treatment you can think of from surgery, radiation, to uh, a number of drugs to block testosterone. The 68-year-old says those treatments worked for a while, but eventually the approach changed. In 2017, he started on newer drugs, but scans showed there was cancer in the bone. A few years later, he was enrolled into a clinical trial for a drug called Rucabrib. Well, I was very, very glad, very hopeful because um, with all the treatments I'd had before, I thought we were getting to the end of the line and I didn't think there was anything else left. Crawford was one of 12 Manitoba patients enrolled into the trial. Clinical trials, I think, provide patients hope. They allow patients access to tomorrow's treatments today. Dr. Joel Gingrich says the drug being tested is a part of a class called PARP inhibitors. They target gene abnormalities that can be passed down or develop on their own in later stage tumors. That's kind of the wave of the future, personalized medicine. Um, to look for a specific abnormality within a tumor cell and try and treat it with a specific medication that targets that abnormality. Cancer Care Manitoba's medical director for clinical trials says this study, which was published in the New England Journal of Medicine, showed this type of medication is beneficial. And because of it, patients are now being routinely screened for these abnormalities and being offered the drug when the time is right. We have a number of different treatments that are available for patients, but we always need more. And this is a new class of medications targeting a new way of looking at the cancer and a, a new indication. So I think this makes a, a meaningful difference for patients. Clinical research has been very important to me and it's uh, given me some extra opportunities to, to continue living, really. Crawford was on Rucaprib for four years. In that time, my wife and I became uh, grandparents for the first time. Two little boys, Christopher and Clifford. But like many other cancer treatments, Crawford says there were limitations. Crawford is now off Rucaprib and is instead doing traditional chemotherapy and things are going well. We're still optimistic and hopeful that maybe uh, there will be some other treatments available in the near future. His focus today is spending time with his family and doing as much as he can. Going to Jets games with my son and uh, we're enjoying that and uh, so life has been good. Michelle Gerwing, CTV News, Winnipeg. There are more than 40 staff working to keep the dozens of clinical trials running at Cancer Care Manitoba. More Tomorrow's Together is brought to you by Cancer Care Manitoba Foundation.